of teams that kick first win the shootout. Kyle Gordon, the captain, starts off for Glenn Muir. I guess this is how you lead from the front. Hasn't had a great night in front of goal, but he can finish it well here. The Glenn Muir captain, their number 10. Nine goals on the season, won them the quarterfinal, trying to set them on their way in this semi-final shootout, squeezes it in. Malik Williams gets the right way, but couldn't get a hand onto it, and Glenn Muir have the advantage. Yeah, and in that example, it's just good placement from Gordon. Was laser focused on where you wanted to kick it, and he was right in the corner. Glenn Muir up 1-0. Definitely gave Malik Williams a chance, but they say it's the hope that kills. So close yet so far. Robert Sow scored two penalties in the quarterfinal against Dintel Technical, did Seau. And now in the semi final, he is first up from one captain to the next. Also scored his penalty in the Manning Cup shootout. He's had a lot of practice and it shows. Yeah, extremely composed. With these penalties, Robert Seau rooted Antoine Gooden right down the middle. Good penalty. We're oh. even. 1-1. One, one. Now, Arane Watson. Missed the part of the season with injury. But has returned and is fully integrated into this Glenmuir setup. Headed on to the crossbar early in the second half. That could have finished it. His penalty doesn't, but it gives Glenmuir the advantage 2 1. Yeah, calmly done from their top goal scorer a season ago, Orrin Watson. They missed him a lot for this season, as you mentioned, Ricardo. His goals. But they held on without him. And now he's looking to fire them into the final of the Champions Cup. And he's put them 2-1 up in this penalty shootout. Pressure back on Kingston College. They are number nine. Well, they are matching in your stride for stride one captain for another no one number nine for another demaria daily 14 goals on the season casey's leading scorer came on as a substitute today and squeezes another one in two two yeah the man they call angel seemed pretty calm heading to the spot antoine gooden had a chance but he was converted in the end. Good power behind that one. Great direction as well. Yeah, it was always going to be difficult to save that one. 2-2. Two, two. Headley steps up for Glenn Muir. Brilliant with his corner kicks, with his crosses today. Had one of those been taken, he wouldn't need to be here, but he is here. He steps up and drills it in comfortably. Malik Williams going the wrong direction and Glenn Muir go three from three in the shootout. Yeah, I was always confident that Headley would step up to take one. Takes a bulk of Glenn Muir's set pieces from centre back. And this important piece of Glenn Muir's puzzle has slotted them back up 3 2 in this penalty shootout. For KC, Alex Hislop. Had an opportunity to put them level in the first half. Didn't take it. Makes no mistake this time. We remain on serve. It's 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, good penalties so far. Who is going to blink first? Jason White will be hoping it won't be him. Jason White steps up for Glenn Muir. Fourth kick of the shootout. 
for the Clarendon based team. Hunting their first ever Champions Cup final. Jason White goes down the middle. And Malik Williams was sailing away to his right. Needless to say, he's well beaten 4 3. Comfortable penalty taken from Glenn Muir. Watched an SSFL encounter from Trinidad and Tobago. 16 14 or 15 14, I think it ended in the shootout. We're far away from that in this Champions Cup semi final. Kingston College's number 10, Jaheem McLean, steps up to the plate. Gooden saves it! Kutmuir with the advantage! And Kingston College are staring at penalty shootout defeats in back-to-back -back knockout matches and in the space of just four days. It's not often a keeper guesses down the middle for the second time in this shootout. Antoine Gunn has and the hero from the penalty shootout in the, the Costa Cup semi-final might be the hero again. Match point. Brendan Wallace, who scored Glenn Muir's opening goal with a chance to win it. Glenn Muir are in the Champions Cup final. Casey beaten in a penalty shootout again. It's a Clarendon derby. It's a Glenn Muir party. The purples have been knocked out. And Glenn Muir move on to face Clarendon College on Saturday at the National Stadium in Kingston. And for the second time in the history of this All Island knockout competition, Two rural area teams will contest the final. The Dacosta Cup final is the Champions Cup final. Glenn Muir versus Clarendon College. Seattle, after a terrific game, had Casey won it, he might have been the leading candidate for player of the match but it's Glenn Muir's victory what a finish disappointment for KC they punched heavy they punched well but ultimately they ran out might have been gas might have been steam whatever it was Glenmuir had it. Vassar Reynolds can be extremely proud of what he's achieved with this KC unit. But Andrew Peart is on a mission. The Triple Crown remains a possibility for both Glenmuir and Clarendon College. And come this Saturday, one and only one will remain in contention for the coveted three. Final score from the Anthony Spaulding Sports Complex. One on after full time, Glenn Muir beat Kingston College. 5-3 on penalties. Here's another look back. Kyle Gordon starting things off for Glenn Muir. Malik Williams had a chance diving away to his right, but couldn't come up with the save. It was too well placed by the Glenn Muir captain. That was 1-0. Robert Seal, the Kingston College captain, going to the left of Antoine Gooden, who applauded the kick because it was a brilliant one. Seal ending his wonderful game. Yeah, Jason White 
for Glenn Muir. And then this miss from Jaheim McLean going down the middle and couldn't read it well. It was well saved. And then Brandon Wallace would step up to complete it. There's another look at the miss or the save, whichever way you look at it. Staying home, staying strong, staying firm. Williams trying to save KC season. He had no chance. Brandon Wallace finishing. And Glenn Muir.